with Erica, this is Cindy, and we're wifing around. Navigating the world of marriage while also navigating the world. <laughs> we also like fixing up our vintage camper. She's a 1972 Hunter Compact Junior, and we just finished fixing up her cabinet. Woo! So in this video, we're gonna walk you through part two of that process. If you wanna see part one, we'll put a little card right here and and it's in the description as well. We had kind of tested out a couple of stains for our cabinets in the last video. We picked a color. It was way more complicated than we were expecting. This changes everything. This was not part of the plan. Things are never as they seem, ever. So come on. What are you doing? I'm just, uh, you know, zooming along. But I um, sanded it with a really fine grit sandpaper, like a 400 grit. So then that way, once I kind of clean up the edges, because I'm trying to get as much of that paint off as possible. Or did you mean, what am I doing at like 10 o'clock at night out here? Yeah. Oh. So this one has been our problem child. This doesn't look like any of the other ones. The other ones have like a closed back. So I think something really funny happened. <gasps> yeah, not a treasure map inside. Should we take apart all the other cabinets to see if there's one in there? Clean it up, sand all this yuckiness off, and then we have a lovely picture frame. So I've been doing some painting prep, which is essentially just taking everything out. We took out the fridge just now, the ice box, and I'm so amazed at how easy it was to do probably add another layer of insulation on this wall. But what else What else we discovered is there's a light on the other side of this wall and the cord was just cut. Where and we've been plagued by why the hell this light hasn't been working and it's because it's not even real. And now we get to take this all off and we can have a cleaner this side. Like I am elated right now. I'm so happy. This is really coming together. Next step is sanding all this down, painting it white, and then staining the cabinets. So while Erica is sanding the interior of Wendy, I am taking on the ice box. It is literally a cooler wrapped in styrofoam. Like this, it's so basic, but it, is actually surprisingly effective. And when we pulled out the ice box, we noticed that there was some rust inside. This is where you put the ice and it's slanted so that it will fall down here, down through, there's a tube that usually goes right here and out of the camper. But there's a little bit of rust. So here's a little trick if you wanna remove some rust. You only need two things, lemon and salt. The acidity of the lemon and the salt, and I use sea salt, um, should help to get rid of that rust. We're just gonna do a little test area right there. Okay, that's kind of nice. It's starting to disappear a little bit. Have you been sanding? Oh, why? I don't know. Why Haven't would I done do a that? single thing all day? Why would I? Does okay. it my hair? <laughs> but it's not even dandruff. <laughs> what if this was stained wood? <gasps> I thought it could be really cool kind of looking out to have this be like a little accent piece. I love it. You do. You did such a good job. This is it a wood filler? But it kind of almost looks like a mousse. A lovely chocolate mousse is what we have for the dessert. All this is gonna be white, and the drawers and cabinet faces, or really all the cabinets and the drawers, will be a wood stain. Ready? Wait! Oh no! <laughs> oh no!
as the final, final countdown. I took this piece of the cabinet that we had to rebuild because it's obviously representative of all of our cabinets. And I wanted to make sure that the stain was gonna look good on this wood as opposed to our tester wood because it's slightly different. And I'm surprised by the results. Are you ready? What? I, is our one cabinet gonna look so different? <laughs> it's very possible. I don't know what to do. <laughs> How do we get this rebuilt cab, sorry, cabinet door? Cause one of our cabinet doors is actually made out of this because it was too water damaged. But obviously the color, for example, doesn't match very well anything that's happening. Ugh, I hate everything. <laughs> I didn't think it would be so different, but I guess it makes a lot of sense. So lesson learned. If you're gonna test it, test it on the wood that most of your cabinets are made of so that you know what it's actually gonna look like. Um, oh, and then the other problem is, is that this is a different material than the border. So it's gonna look weird no matter what we do. Expectation. Reality. <laughs> hmm. I don't hate that. It's very rustic. I kind of don't hate it. Well, okay. I think it's gonna be okay. You know what? I've like really just let it go. I was pretty attached to that light color after we like deliberated and then it's just not that. But literally I'm looking at all the drawers and cabinets and they are all <laughs> different colors. <laughs> they are all their own special little part of the rainbow. It's quirky, I think it fits. And <laughs> there's one cabinet, same stain, same length of time, same everything. Completely different. What are you doing? What number code is this? Code number three. A one, two, a three. Oh. So we're gonna polyurethane these cabinets uh, to help protect them and kind of lock everything in, especially because we've sanded them down and then stained them. So they're like really kind of open and a little bit vulnerable, I guess is sort of how I think about it. So we went with a semi-gloss. I think you can already tell it has like a, a bit of a shine. It goes on kind of milky and then it dries clear. So while Erica is polyurethaning and sealing all of the drawers and cabinets, it's time to take off the tape so that we can stain the little wood finishes around the camper. I'm excited. Not bad. How's it going? Great. The final coat down. Next, we want to get the paint that is on the ice box on the outside. The last time somebody painted, they didn't take it out, so there's a little bit of that apricot paint kind of all around the border, and we want to remove it. But it's on plastic, so we can't use paint thinners, and if we sand it, it gets kind of like gritty and gross. So here's a solution nail polish remover. Make sure you get the kind with acetone. That's what you need to get this paint off. It's coming off. It's really slow, but it is coming off. What are you doing? I'm insulating our fridge. It's a Reflectex. We'll be able to have our ice in here longer and I think it'll be super nice, but since we have the fridge out, we might as well do it. This is not hairspray. Now, we're going to pop it back in and hopefully with the addition of the insulation, it still fits. Uh-oh. Oh, that's where that little, look, can you see that? There's a crack. Well, fiddle faddle, where do we buy it? A tube like this. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Went to another hardware store. Oh, jeez. Got the tubing. And then this is the little drain spout, and it fits on there perfectly. I'm 
Okay, and then it's gonna go right out that hole, right? Once we figure out the perfect length. We are about to put the cabinets back on and be done! We did it! Well, wait, almost. Don't. We hope you like this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more. Ring that bell.